Alright, this is another video review by Optimus Prowl or BHK Unknown on YouTube. So right here we have the BotCon 2014 exclusive Mech Ideas Custom Edition um, Gauntlet or as uh, IDW fans will know um, Iron Fist. So this is the box you get right here. This is special exclusive artwork on this side. Um, it's got the bullet holes and everything going down the front right there. It's got the new head. Um, and apparently what happened was Renderform got together with Mech Ideas, two third-party companies, and they created this figure. So the overall box is a pretty decently sized box, pretty basic. And there's the regular artwork you'll get if you get the regular edition gauntlet. Um, this will probably be on both sides of the box. This side, that's just a sticker. It's a big label. could probably peel it off, but I don't want to ruin the box because it looks really cool. So, um, oh, and then there's also all the information down here. Woo. Got some warning stuff. Gauntlet right there. Demolition Crew, so he's part of the same set as uh, the Twin Twist and Top Spin third-party ones that I don't remember the name of. And then manufactured by Mac Ideas, made in China. Um, and if you want some more information, just go there. And as you can see right there, there's the feet, and let's get to the figure itself. So we'll get rid of this. Wah! Cool. And here he is. This is Mech Ideas Gauntlet BotCon 2014 edition. And he is all kinds of dirtied up. Look at him. He's just crazy dirty. As you can see, this elbow's a little loose on mine. Um, have to go in there with some floor polish later, get that tightened up a little bit, but it's not too bad. And he comes with a little gun right there. So let's get a little bit up close here, see if I can't get the head a little nice and close. Woohoo! That way you can see right there, he actually does have the bullet hole right there on the side of his head. Just like in the comic. And then he's got all this awesome detail coming up. So he's got like bullet holes right there. Oh yeah, it looks great. And then a bullet hole right there on the shoulder. And he's just all kinds of dirty everywhere. Just dirt, 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 dirt. It looks like it's all hand brushed back here. Um, he's got a little bit of an open back of the leg right there, but nothing too horrible. Uh, and then you can see the clean ball joint right there. A little bit more dirt on the back of the shoulders. Yeah, he's pretty. He's pretty neat looking. So he's cool. Let's see. So do -do -do. in terms of articulation, let's see. He's got a ball joint on the head, so he can look up and around and everywhere. All over the place. Woo! He's got a big old ball joint. So nice and tight too. This ball joint's really nice. Um, shoulders. Let's move out like that. Down, forward. Um, they got a universal hinge in there, so they move around pretty much everywhere. Elbow's got a nice ball joint right there. Um, this one again is a little loose. This one on this side, it only bends up that far. That's as far up as you can bend that elbow. And as you can see, the bursts have a nice big ball joint right there too. Ooh, and he just threw his gun. So my only complaint with this guy is that his hands are a little bit too small for um, 5 millimeter port um, items, so he can't hold a lot of other transformer weapons. He can only hold this. This is it. This is all he's got. So you can plug that right back there into the hand. Whoop. Plugs in nice and easy, a little snug. And then um, on mine, so you got to be a little careful sometimes with the hand because he's already got some stressing going on right there with the thumb. So just be careful when you plug in the weapon there into the hand. Oh, look at all that detail. All that dirt. It's good, good, good. Cool. So plug that back in. Boop. And he's got a waist joint. Whoop. So twist back and forth right there. He's got some ball joints here at the hips. They're nice and tight. Not clicky tight. They're just nice and tight. Right there. And he's got a thigh swivel. And he's got a big knee joint right there. And because of the way his knees transform for robot mode or for vehicle mode. He's basically got double jointed knees, like all the way down. And then his little knee flap here can move because of transformation, but I like to leave it locked in. And then his feet can move up and down a little bit. And that's about it. So that's it for articulation on this guy. In terms of accessories on this dude, he actually has some pretty cool stuff going on. So he's got the gun right here, right? And just like the comic books, you can set him down. And then you take this, and then he's got little holes right here in the top of the backpack. So you can plug that in right there and you can give him the same look as the G1 toy his comic book version in the IDW book uh, Last Stand of the Wreckers 
that kind of stuff. And then it's actually cool again, is you can unplug that, whoop, and then plug that back into the hand, and then come around to the back, and then you can actually pull this piece off right here, and this whole thing twists as well and also pulls off. Whoop. Let's see. Ah, there we go. So that also pulls off, and there's a little port right there for it. There's little ports for stuff right there. Um, those are just for the hinge right there. And then it's got a little itty-bitty peg right there. Same size peg on the bottom of this. This is like held together by screws right there. So I like to leave this plugged onto the back. And then he's got little ports right there on his arm. So you can plug this in right there. And you can give him a little buckler shield kind of thing going on. So he can have like a little defense shield as he's firing at Decepticons. Or whoever the third party Decepticon guys are, I guess. So that's pretty neat. He's got that extra little thing right there. So you can unplug that. Whoop. Just stick that back onto his back right there. And then, woohoo. So let's show him with a few of his little comrades that he's got from the IDW comics. So we got him right there. And then, of course, his fearless leader, Springer. So Gauntlet's pretty small. He's about a scout size figure right here. Um, he's not too big, and Springer's a bigger Voyager, so he's making him look a little tiny. Um, but Gauntlet's pretty tiny. Um, he's not super huge, but he's a nice size to play with, nice size to have fun with, so he's pretty cool. So, there we go. And then we're going to do Transformation. So, I like to pull off the gun right there, get that out of the way, just put that over there. And his transformation is a little complicated, but nothing too crazy. So first thing you want to do is you want to pull the backpack out this way. Whoop. And this is supposed to plug in. Um, there's two itty bitty itty bitty pegs right here. The peg into peg holes right there. But mine don't fit super well. Also this joint is also kind of loose. So like this, it's more this angle. Like the joint up in here than the joint down there that's loose. So I might have to floor polish that too. That way it stays up. But otherwise it just kind of flops backward a little bit. So, first step of transformation, whoop, flip these little side panels out of the backpack like that. Just like that, cool. And then, you're going to come up in here and around, and you want to rotate the head down, flip it all the way around this way, whoop, and you want to flip up this big yellow panel right here. Cool. So once you have that done, you also want to peg the legs together right here, and then flip the feet down until they're like that. Now this foot got assembled a little bit wrong on mine, so the pin got shoved through it the wrong way, so it doesn't fold all the way down. But on mine, you can still force it down just a little bit, and that'll still make it line up for the vehicle mode. And you'll see why that's an issue here in just a second. Um, right there, cool. And then what you want to do is you want to flip this, you want to flip this chest forward all the way like that, fold his head down as you do. Whoop, there you go. And then before you fold this backpack piece all the way back, you want to flip the legs down. This is hard because the hip ball joints are so tight. And you're going to flip the knees up like that. Just fold it all the way over. And flip it up. Just like that so it compacts in. Then you can flip the knee, knee guards in underneath right there. And then for the arm parts right here, you want to flip them up this way. And then fold them all the way back at the joint. Then you're going to rotate this down, like that. And make sure that lines up. There we go. Just like that. Cool. Just like that. And then go on the other side here, same thing. So flip this backward like that. And then flip the arm down at the ball joints. Right there. Just like that. And then you want to flip the side panels down here, so they snap in. Now the arm pieces aren't really going to connect in anywhere, they're just going to sit there. And then flip the arm, flip that panel down one more time right there. Cool. There we go. And... I'm going to fold that up so that these ridges all match up together right there. So there's the lines going down the side, and that'll plug in right there. Cool. And then just like that, just like that. And then you're going to fold the hands up like that. And then 
There's I there's gauntlet. I plug the gun in right there on the top. There we go. And there's gauntlet and vehicle mode. Pretty much. Like I said, he's a little fiddly on the arm parts right here, so you just gotta fiddle with those and see if you can get him to sit in just the right place. Otherwise, there you go. And he's a cute little Jeep truck thing right there. He rolls pretty well. Um, rolls back and forth. So because all of this stuff is on a joint, it's all articulated so you can move it back and forth. Do a nice rotate right there. Um, this can plug into either side. So it doesn't have to be on one side or the other. It just depends on how you want to display it. Just like that. And then, again, this stuff can all unplug on top. And then you can unplug that. Ah! And then you can toss this on the side right there, like that. And then you can toss this one on the side. Let's see, right there. There you go. That's not too bad. He's got a little gun and a shield on each side, but, I mean, we all know up here is where this is supposed to stay. Just like that. Cool. Just like that. So, and he's not too small in vehicle mode. His mass pretty much stays the same. And, and uh, so let me bring in a little vehicle size comparison for another IDW guy. Generation Swerve. So, he's not too much bigger than Swerve. Um, he's about the same length, but in terms of height, he's a lot taller. Just because of all the extra mass on top and the guns and stuff. So he's a lot taller than Swerve right there. Um, it's a little bit on the longer side. Nope, he's shorter than Swerve right there. Yeah, he's a little bit shorter nose to tail. So, yep, pretty much that. There you go. So this guy was the... Um, BotCon 2014 exclusive. So this isn't what it's going to look like uh, if you buy it now. Um, it'll be all clean, nice bright colors and everything, bright blues and stuff like that. Bright yellows on top, um, bright yellows on the inside and stuff. And his head will not have that little bullet hole um, indenta indentation on it that it had earlier. Um, so this is the BotCon 2014 exclusive. This one was $60. I'm not 100% sure how much the actual version is going to be, um, like the regular paint version. But this one was $60 at the show, and I think he was well worth it because now I have an Iron Fist toy. And I don't think we were ever going to get one of those from Hasbro anytime soon. So... I'm about two figures away from completing the last end of the Wreckers crew, so we just have to get, um, we got, what, we can use, uh, the helicopter guy from Revenge of the Fallen, his rotor storm, there's the Guzzles, the Guzzle Legends figure that came out a couple, couple years ago, and then there's this guy, and then Springer, and then Cup's already out, so we basically just need a more easy to get Pyro other than the BotCon one, um, but yeah. So, that's Iron Fist right there, and let's see, he's pretty cool, so pick him up if you get a chance, yeah.